Hey guys, what's up? So, welcome to one of the last videos of the year. I know, y'all have not seen me like for majority of the month of December. I posted twice. I feel like that's a good effort as best as possible because in the previous years for anybody not new here, every December it seems like I disappear and I just don't post and I don't know why. And it's probably because one of them is because of my mental health. The other is because the holidays are stressful and you always wanna make sure you get the perfect gift for everybody. And I, hopefully I did that this year. But as for my mental health wise, we'll talk about that more in this video. Another thing I wanted to address is uh, my hair is cut short again and uh, I like it. It feels like I'm being mature for 26, which I hate the number and I hate getting older. It's something I fucking disgust, but I think with how last year came out, me, how this previous year came out to me being 25, I think approaching the new age and new ages I will be approaching and everything more with my life. I'm accepting it more and more. Yeah, it sucks getting older and Billie Eilish's song Getting Older kind of defines it a little bit. So last year's video was very vague of a title that I would never make it to 25 and I saw that video about a week ago and Jesus, the shit that she went through this year that she did not know she was gonna go through when she made that video. Whew. Girl, you went through some shit this year. <laughs> you went through some shit. And uh, you relied on your friends a lot. It's crazy. It really is. It was a crazy year, but I can hands down say this probably was the best year of my life. And it took a lot for me to say that. I was literally crying, and hopefully I don't cry in this video. <laughs> it was taking me a lot to say that this was the best year of my life because I did not know if it was going to be or not, and I felt like I made such an effort to make it the best year of my life and I wanted it to be because I finally felt like I felt okay and I felt like everything was okay for once in my life and I put myself first instead of instead of just being feel like I've been controlled a little bit by other people and I put myself first and some people will say like that's selfish. God, I'm gonna start crying, I already know it. <laughs> Some people will say maybe that's a little selfish to do, but putting yourself in, you know, making sure that you're okay is something that I prioritize so much and it's not selfish and it's not selfless. It's self-care and it's making sure that you're okay and making and also making sure the people around you are okay is something I really wanted to do a lot this year. And oh my God, I'm starting to cry, what the fuck? <laughs> but I feel like this year, especially this year I didn't listen to those people and I did what I did for myself and I feel like that is such a great thing Ooh, let's get rid of the tears Ooh, let's get rid of the tears please <laughs> I really cracked down at 24 and 25 and I got my fucking license yeah it's had some uh, big some struggles this year but besides that bandito still driving fucking well and I'm happy about that you know I have to get him a little bit fixed in the new year but you know besides that I love driving and I love my little bandito some people tell me still that they are still proud of me for everything I've done and just hearing those words it's it means a lot to me something else I did significantly this year was I went to Arizona I went to Arizona I went on a flight by myself for the first time. And I didn't think I could even do that. But little did I know, I let go and I did it. And I had a fucking amazing time. I met I met one of my internet friends for the first time, Aaron. Oh my God, that time that I had with Aaron in Arizona was so fucking fun. And it took two people that we met on the internet to be internet friends to have a great bond and we went to go see an artist that we both love, Billie Eilish. <laughs> Seeing also Billie, I'll get into like the artists and everything and music in like a second. I don't know, getting on a flight and going to see an internet friend of mine for like the first time is crazy to me that I've done that and it's wild that I just push myself and I did it. And I went to a lot of fucking concerts this year. I went to go and see Youngblood and Louis Tomlinson and Halsey and Billie Eilish, 21 Pilots. Like, that is crazy to me. I went to go see a lot of my favorite artists this year and I interacted with LTHQ, Halsey sent me a postcard. I got to literally touch Tyler Joseph's hand at the 21 Pilots concert. But something that did happen that I kind of want to talk about a little bit was um, I lost a friendship. 
I there was something that happened actually right around the time I got my car which is weird how that happened and something I kind of did want to talk about in another video but I'll talk about it in here um with losing a friendship this friend I did not think would ever betray me and they did and it sucked I had to let go of them and I had to be I had to be the older mature person and just block them and move on and that's what I did and I realized I had more caring friends and more people in my life that cared about me than this person probably ever did and like a weird significant change happened around that time where I just was like, weirdly enough I was seeing animals like a lot and a lot of people say like signs with animals have like a lot of animals like carry signs that there's different changes. I saw like orange butterflies, yellow butterflies, deer. I saw birds. I saw I saw a lot of different animals that carry a lot of different signs. But mainly the the ones that I seen the most was the orange butterflies and the yellow butterflies. And it's significant to change and a good fortune. It's significant that there was good transformation and good fortune coming to me. So maybe that this was me turning over a new leaf and me like realizing that I feel like you know I've just grown and I learned that my kindness shouldn't be deserved and given away to to people that don't deserve it and it's 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 probably it's probably for the better and it's probably for a good type of change I'm really just proud of myself as for next year I really don't set any, any goals for myself anymore I think overall next year I really do need to go to therapy. I feel like that's just a really big thing I need to do for myself and my mental health is to put myself first by more putting myself first I should say by going to the therapy. I feel like that could be a good change for me. Another thing is probably moving out. I think moving out of my childhood house I think it's time. I'll be 26. I think that that's you know, I think it's a time for me to do that and to me to be on my own and experience life on my own. Um, I think that's definitely something I should do. Travel more, clearly. Um, I know that I'm already planning on going to Nashville. I know that next year at some point we're going to Vegas, me and my friends, and that'd be really fun. Um, I want to maybe try to go to a festival, if I doubt it, because the festivals are just... Uh, they don't look like they're worth it too much. I don't know. And overall, just keep being myself and keep being happy. Um, saving money more, probably another thing. Um, and overall, just make sure that I'm okay all the time. And days where I'm not okay, I think that that's all right. You need to embrace your feelings and you need to em embrace your emotions. And yeah, so I think that that's a great significant thing I'm going to start to do. But, uh, yeah, I think I have one more video for y'all, and it will be a little montage of what my year kind of looked like a little bit through videos, and I have a song already picked out, I've been picking out for so long, and then, uh, yeah, I'm taking another break, as I do every year, um, I'm taking a week off for my birthday, and then it'll be back to content, um, but I'm really excited. I'm getting a car mount finally, so I can finally do carpool karaoke's, which I feel like it makes sense to do it with. I'm a music channel, so I feel like that will be fun. Um, and yeah, some really fun ideas. So if you have any fun ideas you would love to see me do, I know like ranking videos I'm gonna do again. I have a few of those planned out in my head. Um, but yeah, if you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn bell notification, that way you know when I upload. Comment below what was something that you did this year that really made you the happiest. As always, stay strong, don't hate, just love. I hurt you guys to infinity and beyond, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks so much. Bye.